what entity type should my business be um, with specific mention of an S Corp? And so I'll address that question now. Um, so in, in the United States, there are a couple different popular types of um, entity, business entities. So you have a C corporation, an S corporation, an LLC or a limited liability company, uh, and a sole proprietorship. There are other different uh, types of companies as well. Those are the most common, I would say, uh, that come across my desk. The, most organizations don't want to be C corporations, most small businesses, because they're the most expensive, they're the most time consuming, and the, the freedoms that you get with a C corporation are typically not freedoms that small business owners are interested in. For example, one of the differences between a C corp and an S corp is that an S corp can only have up to 75 stockholders and they all have to be US based. Um, if, if you don't care, you know, but with, the, with C Corporation, those limitations don't exist. So if you are interested in having more than 75 stockholders in your company, or you're interested in having a stockholder be someone who's not US based, then, you know, then C Corporation might be a way to go. But if that's not a consideration, then um, you can benefit from the advantages that an S Corp or an LLC have to offer. Um, so also a C Corporation essentially as a small business owner, your earnings are really taxed twice. Oh great, a question came in. Thank you, Silas. As soon as I'm done answering my S Corp question, I will absolutely answer that. Thank you, wonderful. Um, so the income of the company is in essence taxed twice. It's called double taxation. Um, the LLC and the S Corp and the sole proprietorship don't experience double taxation. Oh great, Steve, I'm so glad you joined me today. Wonderful. Um, so that's why one of the reasons why an S Corp and the LLC are, and sole proprietorship are less expensive to, um, to have. If you are the owner of an S Corporation, you have to be on salary. You can't just take a, a dividend or a draw. You have to get a salary and you have to, uh, the company has to pay you what's called reasonable compensation before you can enjoy the financial benefits of, uh, of a distribution um, in an S Corp. And a lot of people violate that because they're not e either intentionally or unintentionally. So you'll want to find out about what reasonable compensation means for an S Corp in order to uh, be in compliance with the law as well as make the most of the financial benefit. An LLC, um, the re that reasonable compensation piece doesn't exist. You don't get a W-2 from your own company. Uh, you see that your company pays you whenever you see fit to have your company pay you and you just write a check or send an electronic payment and you're responsible for your own estimated tax payments for income taxes. So um, those are some of the differences. Both in S Corp, C Corp and LLC, they all have limitations on liability. A sole proprietorship, which is the least expensive to create and maintain, does not have that kind of limitation. So. Um, it's, it's a good idea to form an LLC or an S Corp. It's just that if you have an S Corp, you have to make sure that the, the owner, you, is receiving a paycheck. So uh, if you'd like to know more about an S Corp, definitely ask me either now or during the course of the week.